Hi everybody, this is Debbie. Um, today I am doing this design. It is actually according to um, the reference number which I used in my introduction videos as 3S for the staggered pattern, 3 bars, and D, just you know, A, B, C, D. So this was definitely, definitely a very early design and I've kind of overlooked it in all the designs that I've, you know, all the bracelets that I've done tutorials on that I had made before ever doing my first tutorial. And so I thought I'd give it a try. And I came up with this. Which is interesting. But when I made this one, my daughter Olivia, my 11 year old, um, you know, she's kind of lost interest in this. When she saw this one, she gasped and she was, oh, give it to me, mommy, I want that. So I made her another one so I could keep this for this, for my presentation. But it, it, how cool is that? I used um, the limited edition tie-dye bands and then just the pink bands. And Well, the pink here and I guess I used a different pink on the outside. What pink is that? It's a clear pink. What the heck does... What was that? Huh, I can't remember now. But it's like a transparent pink. Oh, maybe it was, may, I know what it was. It's um, the mixed jellies. I think they were glow-in-the-dark glow jellies. That's, that's what it was. I forgot. I've only used those once. Okay, so as you can see, it's a very simple design. And, ah! I knew I was forgetting something when I oh, set up. Oh, no, oh, didn't totally forget. Sorry, right here. Okay. Oh, decisions, decisions. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to go off camera because I just thought I needed two colors because that's all I used on this was two colors. But I like the three color. Um. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um. Like this one, I just used the blue for the border as well as using it for across here. Where in this one, I used this pink and then this pink. And on this one, I used the um, turquoise jelly and then the ocean blue jelly. And I, I like um, the dimension of color. So I'm just going to have to go do me a little bit of thinking and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, that did not take too long to um, figure out. So for the bands that are going to be color A, those are these border bands here. The glow-in-the-dark pink and the ocean blue here. I'm going to use just the clear jellies. I like the jellies for this border because they hold their shape well, but they're not too thick and bulky. Although I would like to see, you know, I might try um, using some of the um, maybe Persian bands on this design too, but uh, we will see. Got lots of things going on. So the clear bands for let me use this one, the glow-in-the-dark pink and then for this color, the pink here. Oh, I am so sorry. I got myself really close camera as close as I can get it so you guys can see better but it gives a much smaller workspace for these bands I'm going to use the um, moon color from the solar co solar collection part of my kit that Rainbow Loom sent me for being chosen as a loom artist and they sent another package of bands with all the um, different colors of the um, solar bands were these the hippie mix. Oh, that's cool. Somebody called me a hippie today. <laughs> I'm wearing the shirt that says love on it. <laughs> and in the in the O, I thought it had a palm tree <laughs> sticking out. And it's not it's not a palm tree. <laughs> it looks like a palm tree, but it's a leaf of something that hippies often enjoyed and I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I'm such a knucklehead. Very naive. Anyhow, so the hippie mix. I thought those would stand out really cool, and I, that's why I'm using the um, the whites and the clears, so they'll show up. So, 
I am going to take a colored band. I will do my best to stay in camera, on camera and screen. This much space. Right here. Okay. Put two here. And then you're going to take one of your A bands and stretch it all the way up to here. And then another one here. You know what? I'm wondering, let me look at this again. Now I'm going to stick to my stick to my guns here. And then your B color, which are the moon. Moon white. It's nice having another shade of white to work with things. You know one color? If Rainbow moon people are listening. You need more silvers. There's not enough silver. Lots of golds, but not a lot of silvers. And I like to work with silver. I mean, I like to work with gold, but silver goes with so much, too. Um, now you're going to put one band, he one B color band here, and one here. All right, and that's one, two. And then you're going to take one of your C colored bands, and you're going to do a figure eight, just like that. And we are going to keep competing, competing, repeating that all the way up the loom for as long as we want it. I think this is two full lengths, but I'm not 100% sure. I suppose I could just count the um, C-colored bands and that will tell me how many sections I used. I'll get you going and then I'll come back and tell you... Oh, I have a very rude dog in here. I was teaching him tricks and giving him treats as a reward and... Uh, oh my! <laughs> so this one is that just fits me so I will get back to you on that let's get finished with this so you're going to take your two A color bands then you take three B color bands and do one two three and then one twist around like that and repeat. Hey, Siger, what you doing, puppy? Where is it, Siger? Hey, Siger. Hey, puppy. Where's your puppy? Show yourself in the camera. There you are. Where's my puppy? <laughs> oh, she's going to start talking to me. You going to start talking to your mommy? I'm actually a grandma. Oh, I forgot. Duh. I forgot to tell you the name of this bracelet. Thanks for reminding me, Cider. The reason why is because my daughter Olivia liked this so much, and she just, her glee of like, oh, you know, she was so excited when she saw it. Saw it. <laughs> um, I decided to call it Livy Lou. That's a nickname we had for her when she was little. Her name, of course, is Olivia, so Livy for short. Well, not short, just a nickname. And then Lou for Lucille. My mom's name is Lucille, so we called her Livy Lou. So back to work. I'm sorry I'm distracting you all with my game. Gabbing. So you do two A bands, then you do these three. B color, and then one C. There, what color do I want now? I think I'm going to do red. Two A color bands. Three B. One. Two, three, and one C. Oh, I am going to have to do something about this little desk here. I'm never going to be on camera for you guys. So I'm going to do it again, and I'm going to be watching myself on camera. 
place your two A bands. Sorry. Your three B colored bands. One this way, one this way, and one this way. And then, er, decisions, decisions, decisions. I guess I'm going to go yellow. Okay, I'll do it one more time and then I'm pretty sure um, you should have this figured out because it being one of my very earliest designs, it wasn't, you know, overly complicated because I was just learning. Still a babe designer. Then you take your three B colored bands, do one of them straight up, do one to the left, one cider, hmm? and then take a C band and twist it across. Okay, so I'm going to go and make this table a little easier to work on and I'll have it finished all the bands placed on it and I have to tell you how many let me count real quick okay you guys get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one okay so I used twenty one of these figure eights to make it big enough for my size six and a quarter inch wrist low Again, I forget. I'm so close to the camera zo zoomed in. Alrighty. So now you know. I've put 21 of these figure 8 bands. And it comes up with having 1, 2, 3, 4 on the side. 1, 2, 4 in the middle. Um, so that's where I'm going to end mine. And so for the final bands, before you cap it off, you'll be doing the two A bands and then one B colored in the middle. So I'm going to turn it around to make it easier to put the cap on. See, I'm going to use double Try your double clear bands. We're going to wrap it around like this. And we're stretching it across these three pins right here. So it's going to be a little bit of a workout, but not too bad. Go like this, across these two, and then across this one like that. There you have it. Now. The big loop. It looks fairly simple, I think. <laughs> okay. The first ones that we're going to do are the side ones here. We're not taking them back up to this middle pin. We're taking them up to non-home pin. See, I was doing this really early now. I did not... This is not my... Um, not my stitch, I found out. It was actually done by Rainbow Loom in one of their tutorials. I think it was their zipper tutorial. So the first two come out like that. Oops. Ooh, hubby's coming. You have to hurry. Then you're going to take the middle band straight up. You're going to, hmm, okay, that's what it says. Reach down under the B band, grab this A, bring that straight up. It's kind of hard to see with these, but see, you've got the C band, you've got the, the moon band, and then you've got the clear band. So you reach all the way to the bottom band. It's 
Moving them out of sequence. Um, I don't know if I had seen that before. It's always fun to experiment. Now we're going to get the moon color bands or the bee color bands right here. And we're going to bring them to the center. Here's one. And here is two. It's actually quite a few bands on this little little design. So that's how it's going to go. Let me see. Okay, well not quite. This is the sequence. We're going to do the middle band. Reach down underneath and get that A band on the bottom. Bring it straight up, not to its own pin. And then reach in these underneath the C band, grab the B, and bring it to the center. And you definitely gonna want to push down the bands on the center because it is a little bit thick. Okay, so here we go again. Start with the center band. Two outer bands, or the angled ones, and then we're reaching under here and grabbing this to the center. Super, super easy. Okay, I'll show you one more time. Reach down, pull these back, grab the center. It's the only one in there. Finally went to sleep. He was being such a little stinker. <laughs> In the other room. <laughs> Reach all the way under. Bring it straight up. Oh, he's waking up. He hears Daddy coming in. Wonder if he's gonna do one of his crazy barks. <laughs> I might get to hear it. Oh, you're not. You're coming in. You hear me talking? Okay, where am I? Made me lose. Just distracted me, puppy. Did you hear somebody? All right, I'll do one more real quick. Take the center band. Take this bottom band here. Reach all the way under. Grab it. Bring it straight up. Okay, there's hubby. And then the two B bands, just bring them to their home pin. Alright, I'm going to go finish doing all this and then we will finish it off. I'm almost at the end here. I think it, uh, most of you can figure out what to do. Um, I brought this one up. And now instead of bringing this one up here, obviously it's not going to work. Um, we'll just bring these last two A bands to the center and then reach under here. Grab these. And then the final band. Okay. Now we're ready to take it off. So I'll just grab these. Okay. I was totally spaced out, distracted showing my husband a puppy's new trick. I taught him down today and he learned it in about five minutes. He's so cute. He goes down, he goes like this with his paws. He goes, ping! It just, oh, he just pounces down. It's just, animals are so adorable. So anyhow, yeah, I was busy talking to my husband about that and he's cooking me a nice steak right now. Us a nice steak, a ribeye with baked potato. Oh, yum, yum. Does it get any better than that? Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> So I actually forgot 
to um, loop some of the um, bands so I had to kind of backtrack. Thank goodness I had only done it on a um, few rows. That would have been so embarrassing, hopefully. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be talking as if I'm relieved because I'm not sure. I actually did catch them all. Okay. Well, I actually can't really show you pulling it off too much, but, you know, just pulling it off like we do. And it probably helps, to, I think, to use your finger to pull this in so many bands on the center. Just helps, it, you know, prevents it from stretching out. Going a little slow here. Still got tender fingers. It's not as bad as they were a few months ago. Thank God. Alrighty, let's see what this one looks like. Oh, I like it. How cute is that? You see? How cute it is? Adorable. And then if if you want, you just kind of even these out a little bit. Sometimes they're not quite as even. See how you can pull them? I mean, it's basically a figure eight, so just play around with them. There you have it, Livy Lou. Oh, she's away at science camp. The fifth graders go to science camp, and I think she's going to be excited when she comes back and find out there's a bracelet named after her, although I'm not sure she's going to like it as Livy Lou. But yeah, this looks really cute. I love it. Oh, it's probably really hard to see. Um... This off. Put this out of the way. Oh, nothing missed it. You can see it against the black. See all the, the clear bands? Make that cute little border. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And this is the other side, but this isn't really, you know, this is just the underneath side. So, anyhow, if you like Libby Lou, of course you like Libby Lou, but if you like this design, let me know. Feel free to subscribe to Deb's Thing and be sure to check me out on Instagram at Deb's Thing. Thank you so much.